In this video, I'll show you how you can transform the videos that you shot with your Android phone from something like this to something that looks more like this. Make sure to stay till the end. And what's up everybody? My name is Julian. I'm the creator of Smartphone Filmmaking Pro, which is the ultimate online course about smartphone filmmaking. And I'm super excited to have you for this very exciting video. Today, like I said, I will show you how you can step up the video quality of your Android phones. In the past, we've talked a lot about different iPhone video tricks and so on. But today we will focus 100% and purely on you guys that are using Android phones. And just as a reference, just so that you know, the smartphone that I will be using in this video is the Honor Magic 4 Pro. Honor kindly sent me this phone and I gotta say, I really love it. It has a great display, great battery life and so on. But I would say enough of that and let's get started with finally upgrading your video quality. And the first thing that we need to do to get the absolute best quality out of your Android phone is we need to change a few settings in the camera app because by default it is not set to the highest resolution possible and therefore you can't get the best quality. So I'll show you how this works. Go into your camera app. And then first of all, don't shoot in the photo mode. Don't go to the video mode. Go into the pro mode because we want to get the best quality possible and the most flexibility. So go into the pro mode. Next up, of course, we do not want to take photos. We want to take videos. So just tap on this video icon down here. And now, as you can see, we have a lot more possibilities and we can dial in all the settings that we would like to have so we can dial in the shutter speed, the ISO, the white balance and everything that on an iPhone, for example, you would have to pay an app to be able to change these settings. So on Android phones, that's something that is much better compared to iPhones. You have this basically directly built into the camera app. So there is actually no need to upgrade to a third party app here. So that is the first thing. Whenever you film your videos, go into the pro mode. Next up, we need to change a few settings because like I said, the resolution and so on is not set to the highest resolution possible. So at the very top right, you have a little settings icon. Just tap on that and then you have a few different options. Aspect ratio, for example, is not important for us at video. But if we scroll down, you can see you have a video resolution. Let's tap on that once. And as you can see, it says 16 by 9, 1080p recommended. And that might be recommended by Honor, but not by me as a smartphone filmmaker. So we need to bump that up to 4K. And I would also recommend that you stay into the 16 by 9 aspect ratio because it would not really make a lot of sense to you know, to shoot in 21 by 9, I do not really see that reason to do that. So yeah, just keep it at 16 by 9. Below that, you can change the frame rate. It is currently set to 60 frames, but I will talk more about frame rates later on. If we scroll down a little bit, you can turn on the assistive grid. So like you can see, I have already turned that on. And now you have this grid pattern here, which is very, very helpful when you're filming because you can use them to frame your shots but also more about that later on. Below that you have the horizontal level. So basically it tells you if your phone is leveled or not. And that is basically it. These are the settings that I would recommend that you should change right now. And just a few more things because we currently are already inside of the pro video mode, you can shoot in a lock. To be honest, I would not recommend that you should do it because lock basically is a very flat picture profile. I will show you, you know, regular shots and then the lock shots and it captures a lot more dynamic range. But to be honest, I do I would not recommend that you do this because then the workflow is just much more taxing and it takes much more effort for you to get great results. So to be honest, I almost never Never shoot lock with my smartphone so I would turn that off next to that we could import some lots but it's currently not working next to that is the flashlight and that is basically it so these are the settings that like I said you should change in your camera the next thing that you have to master to get some great results with your smartphone is like I said before frame rates and on this smartphone for example you have four different options you can shoot in 30, 60, or you can even use the slow motion feature to get up to 240 frames per second. And in case you are just starting out, you might be thinking like, 
it doesn't matter what frame rate I'm using and I'm just shooting in 60 frames anyways all the time. So, and I would not recommend that you should do this as a rule of thumb whenever you record someone talking like I'm doing right now. And as you can see right now, then I would shoot at 24, 25 or 30 frames per second. It does not make sense to shoot talking heads at 60 frames or even more than that because there is absolutely no you know reason to slow that down. Whenever you film some action going on, like for example, I don't know, your kids running on the beach or I don't know, just something that, you know, some action going on generally, then I would recommend that you shoot at 60 frames per second. The reason for that is pretty simple because then afterwards you have the possibility to slow your footage down by 50 or even more percent and then you get this nice dreamy slow motion look. And then like I said there also is the super slow motion feature and I would only use this for very special occasions and only during daylight because it needs a lot more light because the shutter speed is very high. And like I said only use this outdoors on a bright sunny day when you have lots of light and when there is some really cool action going on like I don't know for example your kids jumping into the pool or whatever then yes it does make sense but for everything else not really so now that we have the right settings on our smartphone and we also know how frame rates work at least roughly now let's talk about the different lenses as you can see on this honor magic 4 pro we have a bunch of different lenses and depending on what phone you have you pretty sure also have a few different options. The ultra wide angle lens is perfect for showing off a nice location and showing off how big a room is. I'm using the ultra wide angle lens very often, most of the time outdoors because it also requires more light compared to the regular lens, for example. But I personally, I just really like the ultra wide angle look and just like how much you can capture. And if you also combine this with some nice movement, then this is basically a killer combination. I would not use the ultra wide angle lens to film people close up because it just distorts everything and it looks very weird. In case you want to film some people or yourself then switch to the regular camera lens. This is also the lens that you know with pretty much any smartphone delivers the best video quality because this has the widest open aperture so the most light can hit the sensor and it most of the time also has the biggest sensor so in case you want to get the best quality possible then use the regular lens the different telephoto lenses also are really nice they offer tons of possibilities for example you know you can really compress the background if you take a look at a shot shot with the ultra wide angle lens and then with a the telephoto lens it just compresses the background way more and it does not have that smartphone-ish look that you get with other lenses sometimes. You can definitely also film people with a telephoto lens. I was using the telephoto lens a lot recently when I was shooting a music video. So generally speaking, there are different lenses for different purposes. And something that you should remember out of this video is whenever you capture a scene. So for example, you're filming a holiday with your family. What I would recommend is that you capture shots with all the three different lenses or four different lenses or however many lenses that you have because then in the post-production you just have more flexibility you can get more creative and it also is more interesting for the viewer compared to all the shots being captured on the ultra wide angle or the standard lens so whenever you film something whenever you capture you know whatever you're filming a holiday for example then make sure to use all the different lenses that you have and just get a a large variety of different shots because then it's just much more interesting for your viewer. The next thing that I would recommend that you should do or buy to really bring your smartphone videos to the next level is you should invest a little bit into a three axis gimbal. A three axis gimbal, just in case you don't know, is basically an electronic stabilizer where you can put your phone into and then it basically stabilizes all your movement and it smooths out all your imperfections when you're walking. And basically, if you know how you can use it properly, it looks like you are flying sort of. And these kind of shots are just nothing that you would see from an amateur. So automatically when you're shooting these kind of videos, it automatically looks much more professional. And if you also combine that with a 60 frames per second shot, and then you slow that down in the post-production, you get these really dreamy and awesome slow motion shots. So yeah, that's basically the winning formula. And the last tip that I have for you in this video is you should master your composition. This is also something that massively differentiates professional 
shot video from amateur videos because amateurs usually don't know how they can frame a shot so that it has a nice feeling to it but there are easy guidelines and easy rules that you can follow along to really bring your videos to the next level my personal favorite rule of composition is the rule of thirds we have activated in the first tip we have activated the grid on our smartphones so we can now see this grid on our screen and basically you should frame the most important parts of your image on one of the intersections of the lines. I can't go more in depth into this rule of composition and into the 10 other rules of composition right now because otherwise this video would be 20 minutes long and then the YouTube algorithm won't be happy and so on. But in case you would like to learn more about filming professionally with your smartphone, then I can highly recommend that you check out our free webinar. It will be the first link down below that like button. You can sign up for free, you can watch that and there you will get even more information. But generally speaking, if you follow these tips that I gave you in this video, then you will already start improving your videos by a lot. And like I said, in case you want to even more bring them to the next level, then check out our totally free webinar. Like I said, the smartphone that I was using for this video is the Honor Magic 4 Pro, a fantastic smartphone. And in case you're now thinking about getting a three axis gimbal for your shooting purposes, and you're not quite sure which one to get, then check out this video over there. There I'm comparing the two best smartphone gimbals that you can get at the moment in my opinion the DJI OM6 versus the Scion Smooth 5S check it out maybe you'll find your gimbal of choice there thanks for watching bye bye